Hello everyone. Today we are making slime with basil clay slash gl trying out glues that are glitter glue, glow in the dark glue, and color glue. Let's see if um, one of those glue are the best to make butter slime slash basil clay slime with. Okay, let's get on to the ingredients. Just ignore this. Um, you need a bowl or anything that um, you're going to mix make your slime with. And you need a mixing um, spoon. And you need glues. Um, I'm just using color glue, glitter glue, glow in the dark glue. You obviously obviously can use clip um clear glue and white glue or glue all and um you need some scent it's optional and of course you need some daiso clay you just have to pick one daiso clay and daiso clay i'm gonna be using is the yellow one because butter is basically just yellow isn't it and you will need some foaming soap, and it's not really necessarily. And you need some activator. And one more ingredient I'm going to be using is shaving cream, not necessarily. And now let's get on to the instructions. First, you'll put your bowl in front of your um, face. Um, and then you are gonna put the first type of glue you are gonna use is color glue. I'm using purple color glue because I don't have more color glue except for the blue one, but no more. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put in. I don't have specific measurement for this glue. I'm just gonna pour like this much. And don't forget to close the cap. I still remember this horrible story. Anyway, and you are going to be adding some scents if you do have. And by the way, I got this off on Amazon. This is like $14 or something. I don't really remember. And I'm going to pick... How about... Um... S'mores. Yeah, s'mores. I use s'mores a lot. Almost every single time. Okay, I'm just gonna open my scents. And just drop like two or three drop. You don't want the scents to get in your house everywhere. Okay. And now you're just gonna mix when they are just totally combined together. And now, add in your foaming soap. Okay, this is how much I add. And now you're going to add, be adding like half of the amount you added the foaming soap. Okay, I guess that's good. Or a little bit less. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure that's good. Okay, so I basically pour in this much hand foaming soap and this much, the half amount of the foaming soap. Um, shaving cream. This is shaving cream, this is foaming soap. And now all you have to do is just mix them together. And you just mix them together. I can't really, I can't really mix because they are like, the surface is flat.
you might say I feel like it's making fluffy slime, but it's not. And now add in your activator. I'm using um, contact lens solution with baking soda. With some baking soda to make the activator stronger. And now pour it a little bit at a time, slowly. My hands just feel so tired. Cause, um, down my hand. Slowly at a time, like um, five drop at a time. Or else, um, you don't want to overactivate. No. I guess that's fine. Mm. Just have to be careful. Okay. Super sticky. I feel like this is just a regular white base slime. So yes, you can use color blue. A little bit more. If you're asking me why are you doing this so like slow or something like that, then the answer is I don't want to overactivate. I would rather play with sticky slime than overactivating slime. <sighs> Comment down below if you rather play with sticky slime or hard rock slime. I would rather play with sticky slime because at least you can fix it easily. This would feel like normal white base slime. So the uh, answer for color glue is yes. I think I repeat it twice. Let me just do something like this. I don't want to really waste anything, so I'm just going to mix those you see at the corner. Yeah, I'm just going to do something to it. Okay. You can start... Um, putting your hands in the bowl if you feel like it's not that sticky. If you still feel like a little sticky, add like one drop of your activator. You don't want to overactivate because you can't really fix it so easy um, if you overactivate slimes. I mean, you can add in lotion, but... Um, it's just like a waste of activator and lotion. I'm just sticking the blues. Okay. This just feel like normal white base except the color. And now we are gonna be adding in clay. Oh, and um, I do have, you. as you see, I do have three different color of isoclay, and I do have three different kinds of blue. So why don't we use all of the clays, and then for this one, it's pink. No, it's purple, so I'm just going to use the pink one. Yeah. That's good. That sounds good, right? I guess the measurement of amount of clay I'm going to use is like uh, a little bit more than the slime yeah or the same exactly amount as the slime 
Okay, I'm gonna open my dice of clay. I haven't used this yet, so it's like brand new. And I'm gonna use it for today. The other two, I used it. It's used, but okay, yeah. Only this one is new. And I'm still packaging up. Okay, I took my um, clay out, and then I'm just going to take, like, a little bit for the, uh, okay, I guess this is pretty good. Let's be, just put this back over here. So, um, this, um, basically is the best clay I know. Yeah. And, um, let me just see how much the amount is. I think this is not is good. Okay, let's add in the clay. I think it will turn this pink. Comment down below right now. What do you think the color is gonna be for this line? I'm so excited. I guess it's just a pink. Regular pink. I'm mixing in the clay with my hand, and it feels so soft. That's how dice of clay work. It's definitely 100% better than Model Magic. Even though I used Model Magic before. Actually, I'm right. This is just a pink. You can still see crumbs inside here. I'm just mixing it in. I'm just playing the slime right now. It's so soft. Oh my god. I'm in love with the slime. How about a little bit more clay? Okay, like this much. More clay. Add it in. It's a really light pink. So, yes. Color glue totally works. And let's move on to the next slime. Wait, let me just uh, do this. Let me just use this slime to clean the bowl. I'm too lazy to clean the bowl. Okay. Actually, I just don't want to waste time. OMG, I love this. Okay. Um, please just let me put this clay back so, um, it's not gonna dry out. Thanks, guys. I will be back in a minute. And yeah, did you um, click subscribe? Hope you did. Okay. So the next glue we are going to be using is the glitter glue. Mm, for the glitter glue, I'm going to use white because I want to make it like a lighter yellow. The same recipe, just different glue, type of glue. I guess I'm just going to pour in the same amount I did for the um, color glue. Yeah. I guess the amount I pour is like around here. A little, okay. I guess the amount I pour is like around here. Yeah. And again, don't forget to close the cap. You don't want your glue to spill anywhere, everywhere, and then you are going to just waste a $3 bill. Yeah. And for this slime, I think I'm going to use um, the 
five cents caramel corn at DKY. Don't ask me. I just feel like it. I basically poured in three drops. And yeah, don't forget to close the pack for your scents too, if you do have. And again, this is optional. For this time, I'm not gonna mix. I'm not gonna mix. And now you need some foaming soap. It's really just optional. And again, the half amount of the shoe cream. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And yeah, let's mix. This is turning like a DK. Um, yeah. It's really silly. And, um, I'm just not going to waste the activator I made for the previous line. So I'm just going to use this activator for the rest of the day, I guess. And, yeah, again, slowly pour in your activator. You don't really want to over-activate your slime. Like, five drop a time. And take your slime out when you just feel like it's good, ready to go. I can't feel my muscle sore. <sighs> Cause I have to raise my arm really high like a mountain and then makes this. Cause um, I put my camera on to something. <sighs> Let me just add in more activator. I'm doing this so slow. Slow mode. Fast mode. Okay, no more playing around. Okay, I think my slime is ready to go. Yay, finally. I don't have to feel my muscles so anymore. Like uh, a little bit more, like one drop, yeah, one drop, basically one drop. Duh. I'm just sticking the glue to my slime. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, bro. I'm just kneeling with my slime right now. Yeah, you can just play with it like for um, 10 seconds. Just to mix the ingredient um, even. Okay, now if you have some residues like this, you can just stick them up. You know slime can be used for cleaning. Did you know that? That's kind of like a slime hack. I'm just kneeling the glues and the slime together. Basically, I'm just playing with the slime. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. I can still feel the muscles. Okay. Now all you have to do is just add in your um iso clay. And of course you can use model magic or any kind of other clays. Okay. For this light model magic is used as I told you guys earlier. And um um, um we are gonna use the same amount of clay we used for the slime. And the slime is kind of drying out, so take this time to click subscribe. And click a like. I'm really curious about overactivating slime because I hate hard rock slimes. I would rather play with glue, but not um, hard rock. Because you know, if you just keep on doing this, the um, glue will just turn to slime. But by your um, I don't really know why. It's like uh, whatever. Get back to it. Okay, and now you have your slime, your basic slime over here, and then just play with it, slash and kneel with it, and then just add in your um, basic clay. I'm gonna just go find a bag for the slime. Pink slime will be, I think it will be the per prettiest slime in this video. I got a Ziploc bag, and yeah, we're ready to go. The same amount, like a little bit more than the slime you have right now. That's a little bit more. And you know, um, the pink clay feel better than this one, because like the pink one is like brand new. Well done. Brand new stuff are the best. Okay, I guess this clay is the like the same amount as this. What a little less. I'm just gonna add in a pinch more. Okay, and then mix it with your slime. Just so soft. I don't know why. All you have to do now is mix it with your slime, but I'm doing it in a pretty way. But just using the slime and wrapping around the clay. But I think I messed up a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? And just poke. This is like the really popular way to do this with iso clay. I don't know why. Go ask the um, creator of this stuff. And yeah, just mix it. Basically playing with it. Slash milling it together. And um, you're gonna get your final product. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna kneeling it. Kneel it on my own. Because I feel my I'm not so sore. I hope this is gonna turn this into a beautiful color. You know the um, fresh product is the best time to play it. Like the pink slime, if you just leave it there for a while, it's just gonna turn into hard rock. Um, it already is. So. Oh, and if you accidentally leave your slime for like five minutes, like butter slime, just add in um, three pumps of lotion. That will be good. Or you can just add in um, a little bit water to fix the slime. If you still think that 
water amount isn't good, just more add in more water until you feel like you're like ready to go with your slime. Same with the lotion. The lotion you can just add in your five pound five pound scoop, six scoop. It doesn't matter. It depends on how hard your slime is. Yeah. And this is turning the slime into a um white slime. It looks more like my twins, Judy and Jesse. If you have watched that slime, it's called a bunch of different blue, I think. And it's a blindfold challenge. And I made two blindfold challenge. One is Siri and blindfold, and one is just blindfold. If you see that video before, you're going to notice that the butter slime I made with the Model Magic is really similar with this one. And now, now, um, I'm just gonna put this slime into my Ziploc bag. Later, I will find a container for them, but not now, because I don't really want to waste my time. I'm just packaging up the slime with the Ziploc bag. Uh, okay. Okay. The next and last glue is da -da -da, and the most expensive bottle glue I can find in Target slash the whole world right now is glow in the dark glue. Well, that of course is the ex most expensive stuff. In the bottle glue world, world, and I guess I'm just gonna pour it in the same amount as I did for the previous ones. Hello. By the way, this is five dollar one bottle. The only, the only um, reason why it's so expensive is that it glows in the dark. Okay, it does glow in the dark. I'm just going to pour a little less than the previous ones because I don't really want to waste this $5 bottle of glue. Yeah, too late, I guess. It's like too much already. Okay, okay, okay. I only have like mm, one third of the bottle right now. And don't forget to close your cap. I've saying this for three times already. Um, I know it's kind of annoying, but I don't care. I just want to remind you guys so you you won't like get on the track for this. Okay, the same um recipe for before. Hamming soap. Oh, and um glitter glue does work like the white base slime. And some shaving cream. And since for this one, I'm going to use how about chocolate mints. I know it's kind of blurry, but blurry, but uh, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> okay, like as usual, I'll do drop. Ugh, I can't pour like, and shaving cream is getting on. And the scents just feel like oil for me. Okay, after you have all the ingredients in, just mix like how you mix um, cake, egg. Just mix, yeah. And this one is really sick. And it's like kind of yellow, but not really. Like a cheese sour cream. Or cheese cream. They should make gallon of glow in the dark. Okay. 
It, it smells so good. I love chocolate mint and s'mores. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use the activator I used for my previous slimes. Okay, a little bit at a time. It's already like forming and yeah. I guess glow in the dark glue, like it's not a way, a little bit, needs a little bit, no, um, needs a little less activator than usual glues. Am I, I can't see my muscle sore and it's like really um, uncomfortable. Uh, no more activator? I guess I'm just gonna make something. It's a co contact lens solution and baking soda. Any kind of baking soda, by the way. Why am I um, doing so much contact lens solution? Even I, even though I know that I'm not gonna use that much, it's just weird. And after you are make, if you are using contact lens solution, you are just gonna mix the baking soda, water, no, baking soda and contact lens solution together, which I'm doing right now. Okay. And now um yeah a bit oh my god um, yeah. Just mix your glue with, just make your mix mixture with the contact lens solution mixture. I'm saying it in a real way. No do. Just mix your um, stuff with the contact lens solution. Slash baking soda. I don't know if baking soda water work, but I know this work with only baking soda powder. Basic can soda can be a single activator. That means for me, it's you can just use it on the own, on your on um its own. Oh, my muscles. Too. Okay. This tastes. This this look looks like take sour cream. Delicious. Never mind. Get back to the video. I know this video is kind of long, but yeah, it's like experiment. Okay. Comment down below what is your favorite type of slime. Yeah, let me know on the comment section. Mine is cloud, which I repeat. Like um five times already and five other videos plus this one. Oh, actually four other videos, and this is like kind of like um forming. No, it's actually forming. Why did this sound so weird? This sound like um it's not forming before, but now it's forming. Okay, um I'm just gonna play with it for a while. No, actually for 10 seconds. Okay, this um, feels so good. Oh, oops, sorry. Okay, I'm turning the camera low. Okay, and then... Getting stickier. Oh, oops. This is white, basically, but like 
you can see a little bit yellow from the shine. Okay, I'm kneeling with it and yeah. Trust me, you won't like to play with hard rock slime. Okay. If you have some um, glues on your bowl, just stick them. Which I repeat like kind of three times already. <sighs> you know why I just keep on like um, breathe in and breathe out because my muscles sore. <laughs> I have to like which I repeated already. I have to put my hair like a mountain high. A uh, basically a uh, um triangle. Basically like a regular triangle. A sixty degree triangle, and then I just feel really like not good, uncomfortable. Oh, you guys see how my arm looks like. It just feels so bad because this stuff is in my way. And now um, you're going to add in your clay, which the last color of clay I'm going to be using is the yellow clay. Okay? I'm just gonna take it out and do the same thing I did for the previous one, which is a, the same amount of clay first and then a pinch more. That's the measurement for um, diesel clay, I guess. Okay, pinch more. Okay. Yeah, that's basically the measurement for my Daiso clay slimes. Yeah. Like a pinch more because it looks like the same thing. And this time I'm going to do it in the fashion way. I'm just going to make it like a big circle. Or a square because I don't know how am I going to do this. I know how am I gonna do this, but I don't know how this circle is gonna turn out. Okay, it looked like a. I decayed like this, and then just gonna place my model magic. Music. Da 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 da. Okay. And then I'm just gonna um I guess put the slimes. On top of the model magic. I feel activated over here. No, please don't be like. Please don't overactivate. Okay, and I'm just gonna use the slime and then wrap around. And um, I'm just gonna push it down a little bit. Okay, and um, look, look, look. Yay! Oh my God, it's. So soft. Oh my god. This is why people love this fashion way. It's so soft. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so soft. This is why people love Dice Clay. It's only like five dollar for this size. It's kind of expensive, but not really. And this is why I love Daiso clay. It's soft. It's stretchy. It makes your slime feel soft, stretchy, and it's like that color. And the way I don't like Model Magic is because it's hard. You need like five pump of lotion to make it soft. If it's like a medium size. 
but the large size, like 10 pumps of lotion. I tried that before. And I like basically waste one third of my lotion on a large piece of model magic. And I'm just basically kneeling with the slime slash just basically playing with the slime. But a fashion way to say it is kneeling. I do care why. Go ask who created. And it's just so soft. Alright guys, I guess, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. If you're still watching this here, congratulations, because I'm going to just put these three slimes together, and then, yeah. The um, glow-in-the-dark yellow in the middle. The glitter glue. Okay, let me just shape these into squares. I don't care if it's perfect or not. And the glow in the dark in the middle, because it's the most expensive, and middle is like the really good spot, basically. And then my um, pinky, where's my pinky? Oh, my pinky is over there. Let's go over and get it. Pinky is basically the pickiest um, model magic. No, wait, 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 wait. If you leave um, Dyson Clay Slime out for like 10, no, um, 30 minutes, no, 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 what am I trying to say? 30 seconds? It feels like model magic, basically. If you don't have model magic, but you have Dyson Clay and you want to feel how um, my model magic feels, just leave your Daiso clay or um, slime out for like one minute. Actually, yeah, one minute. I'm not going to mix these together because um, I don't want them to be like, uh, how do I say this? Destroyed, yeah. Ta-da! If you have baby oil, you can ask them. It doesn't matter. It don't, um affect the final product or anything they all feel so soft except the pinky one is like a little bit harder to stretch and comment down below which slime do you think won or something like that if you're still watching this ending part the real time to say goodbye